We are in beautiful Jersey City, New Jersey. It's time for another semifinal match. The Ball in Play League presented to you by DraftKings as Hook Line Sinkers takes on Team Baggage. Hey, everybody, and welcome. I got former cricket star, the West Indies, the one and only Darren Sammy. I'm Chris Rose, Kelsey Winger, Paxton Elrod, part of our broadcast team as well. And this is going to be oh so interesting because guess who's back? Guess who's back? That would be the boss man, John Boy. Jimmy O'Brien has returned specs and all from the nasty cuts on his eyes. And the man, all he's talked about is finally hanging a banner in his very own warehouse. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. The winner advances to the championship where Pinstripe Strong awaits. Let's see who's going to get the W here today. Take you down to the cement. All right, it's time right now for the coin toss. Kelsey Winger, take it away. All righty, we're working with the same playoff Euro. This is tails, this is tails, this is heads, this is heads. Who will call, who will toss? Hook, line, sinker will toss. Team baggage will call in the air. Heads, yes. Heads. The call is heads. And it is heads. We're gonna have a ball first. Team Baggage will bowl first. Men, can you please shake hands? Oh, 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 wow. There, there it goes. There we are. Yeah, wow. Thought we were going to start off on the wrong, I would say, foot, but maybe hand. Okay, so Team Baggage is going to bowl first. That means that Team Hook Line Sinkers will be striking first. They will have the DraftKings power play in effect. That means no wicket keeper in the circle behind the strike zone. And let's see, are they going to let... The boss man, bowl right out of the gate. Jimmy's got the ball in hand. What do you think of that? Yeah, I think he, he missed it. He wants to get straight into the action. He's one of the bet, better bowlers. But uh, he's been coming up against Jaskaran, uh, who's been very consistent uh, with the bat. And here we go. It will be an O'Brien, but it will not be Jimmy. It'll be his younger brother, Lucas O'Brien, who will be the first bowler out of the gate. Are you surprised Jimmy's not getting it? Yeah, I thought the way Jimmy came in there ready to uh, bowl, I, I thought he would start where he left off from, from, from the previous games. But yeah, it's, it's look, they all look alike. <laughs> Those O'Brien guys, they all look alike. We are underway, a big swing and a miss, but it's a bad ball. Both guys are running, so. Oh, he, uh, Jimmy's saying it was tipped. Was it tipped? It looks like it's a tip. So now Jolly Olive, the striker. That ball's half a six run. <laughs> Wow. Jolly Olive takes his tally to 50, 51 in the 51 runs in this tournament with that six. A great start for him so far in this semifinal match. That ball hit. Nice job. Look at the quick work of uh, Jake keeping the ball in front of him, allowing just one run. That's excellent defense. In baseball, we would say that's an error because he bobbled it. Here it's a great play, just keep great it in play. front. Keep it in play. Guy nicknamed Jay, now back as a striker. And once again, only one run. Nine runs on the board, two good pitches left. of the inning and Drew Davis doing some sort of dorky dance on the bench. Uh, wow, that's a good start. Scoreboard moves on to 15. Can he finish off with a six? Last pitch of this over. That ball's hammered. Jake again with a nice save. And oh, they're running again. I don't think Jimmy can see the ball. Yeah, Jimmy had a little trouble digging that one out as we take a look at what exactly happened. Jake did a great job just keeping it in front of him. Jimmy. But look remember, at Jimmy. Look yeah. at Jimmy. He's looking for it. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, oh. <laughs> hey, lacking a little coordination, we certainly understand that. There's no question. Why is your shoe off? Oh, my soul keeps flipping out. Keep an eye on that. Jimmy, 
with the glasses so far. How's it going? No, no balls came to me, but after one of them, Luke flipped it to me and I caught it, so that felt good. Good. They didn't know up in the booth how it was going with the glasses. Round of applause for Jimmy. Oh, this is this is classy. Keep it at classy. So by the way, the DraftKings power play is over. Aaron Jones, the professional cricket player for Team Baggage, is in the wicket. Keeper rolling. Jay hits it off the ceiling and only one run scored. Jimmy's unquestionably been Team Baggage's most consistent bowler, so it's good for them to have him back. Let's see what he could do against Jolly. Oh, a oh. dot ball! Rose, let's not forget the last time we saw Jimmy and Jolly going head to head, it ended in a walk off, so. Yep, courtesy of Jolly Olive. Oh, look at this, the ball, batted ball hits Jay. <laughs> that Jay actually saved them four runs. It's very possible, very possible that uh, that ball could have hit the back wall, yeah. could have been a four run boundary. Because they got no field on the offside. Instead, hook line gets just one run. Boy, Jake's been really busy and almost got a wicket on that play. And so far, they've not, Jaskaran has not been able to hit the boundary. They've been keeping it really quiet. Yeah, you can see there's a little bit of frustration there. Two good pitches left in this over. Jolly. That's a bad ball. Oh, no, they're running. Oh, no, they're going to get an easy wicket on that one. Miscommunication between Jay and Jolly. And so it looks like Jolly has been run out at the wicket dance. Yeah, and look, Jolly was the one he get in the sixes. Jay should have sacrificed himself this time around. That wasn't a pitch, right? Yeah. And more balls. Okay. So you have one out. Let's get to the last over. Let's not make another out. All right, so Drew Davis looks like he's going to be the striker. 3.3 runs per ball among the highest in the entire league. He's only faced 15 good pitches, but nine have been boundary balls. This guy could do some damage. Yeah. Well, as I say it, oh no! They almost got a wicket there. So one run for hook line sinkers. It's been a struggle. Yeah. so far to get even to 22 runs. Last ball of this over. And that ball is a dot ball as it gets fouled away into the strike zone. An impressive return for one Jimmy O'Brien. Very Just impressive. five runs in that over. Two more outs. You got to be more successful. You can be more aggressive. You're two fast guys, but be smart, OK? Aggressive, aggressive, aggressive. Aaron Jones, he'll be playing for the Seattle Orcas in Major League Cricket later this summer. He's now the bowler. Luke is now the wicket keeper in the circle behind the strike zone. So here we go, Aaron Jones, now the bowler against Drew Davis. That ball's hammered off the ceiling. They're gonna go for a second run, and they get it. The old back and forth. Two more runs. Which is good for Team Baggage. Yeah, I think Baggage is very happy with how things have transpired this first inning. That ball hit into the ceiling, and oh, Jake knocks it away. Are they going to keep going? They are. Ooh, three three runs. runs. Wow. Boy, Jake made a great diving attempt, but at the end, he kind of kicked it away. That was a little costly. Score moves on to 27. They did much more than that. That ball popped into the ceiling and oh, oh. only one, only one. Three good balls left. Hook line with just 28 runs so far. That ball's tipped behind. It's going to be one run. Boy, this is fascinating. I, I can't believe that hook line Jolly Olive is the only one who's really gotten in stride so far. And 
he had a run out. Yes. Have we seen one sixer? Have we seen one six pointer? We, we saw Jolly? a couple from Jolly, but that's been it. My goodness. They need to finish strong here. They need two sixes. Josh Karan Malhotra. That ball hit. Jake, nice job. Oh, look at him running out. <laughs> but they did get one run. So two more good pitches left in this over, and there's actually just one more good pitch left in this over and inning. We saw Pinstripe defending a, a small total of 33 to get a spot in the playoffs. But what a, what a bowling effort by Team Baggage, inspired by the leader, Jimmy, coming back. Oh, there's a six ball. You all right? You OK, my man? <laughs> <laughs> Wow, Drew Davis didn't like it. You were talking a little <laughs> shit about them. What a finish, though. Yeah. They needed that. Wow. Well, only three boundaries that inning for hook line sinkers as they put up 36 runs. I got to imagine Team Baggage feeling pretty good, right, Kels? Yeah, and Aaron Jones was on the mound in that last over. You guys only allow 36 runs in that first inning. From what we've learned this tournament, 45 is the goal. So you guys held them to a really low score. How good do you feel about that inning for you guys? Definitely feeling good. Um, we wanted to restrict them on a 40, so we did that. So we are comfortable going in. Um, this inning is really just going to try to get as much runs as possible. Do you all have a number you're shooting for? Um, I'll say 50. 50 is the goal down here, Rosie. Wow, what a great effort by me, huh? And why don't you bring your efforts over to the DraftKings Sportsbook where they are giving you a deal. Baggage isn't giving any deals this tournament, are we? No, we're out for blood. Okay, go to the DraftKings Sportsbook and why don't you download the app, promo code warehouse, where we're in, where we're playing. Promo code warehouse, $5 on any wager and you'll get $150 in bonus bets instantly. Promo code warehouse only at the DraftKings Sportsbook. Let's get it. All right, bottom of the first inning, 36 nothing hook line sinkers, but they're taking on a team that set the single game mark earlier this season with 115 runs. Aaron Jones will be the first striker. His batting partner, Luke O'Brien, and it'll be Jaskaran Malhotra as the bowler. He's been outstanding. Team Baggage, of course, on the DraftKings power play as we get things going in the bottom of the first. Let's see if hook line sinkers can do defensively what Team Baggage did to them. That was an impressive, impressive performance. Very impressive. Team Baggage says they're looking for a score of 50. Aaron Jones knocking one away, but because of no wicket keeper, they're going to end up getting a run out of it. I think the speed was the Tad was above fast. the limit. No, the speed was good, 39. So now Luke O'Brien, he has been unbelievable. Most runs per ball, 3.6, that leads the league. That ball hit, nice play by Drew Davis, keeping it in front of him. There's the athleticism of 11 on display. So far, I must say the bowling in the last inning of bottom of the inning in the first semifinal to now has been superb. That ball hit off the oh, ceiling. Oh, 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 my goodness! No, they're saying it's a redo. It's too fast. Too fast? Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at the frustration on Drew Davis's face. That was a great catch. It sucks. But defensively, you know you can do it. Who's saying it's too fast? Keep up the uh, chihuahua energy. You're killing it. Let's take a look here. 41 miles an hour over the limit of 40. It is so difficult sometimes to gauge, and that is critical because they just lost a wicked opportunity. I did the damn wicked dance for nothing. Oh, man, I was doing it as well. Aaron Jones popping one up. Where's the ball? Jay lost track of it. Oh, Drew had a chance at a wicket and just missed out. So two runs on that play. That's a bad ball. They're running. So that's going to be a wide and two runs. If everything has happened, He's kept them 
down to six runs. He has. He has. It just feels like he's thrown a lot of pitches, but there's still three left in this over. That ball popped up by Luke. Is anybody going to get it? Oh, look at Drew Davis. Oh, no. He throws it away. Jay does. That's going to cost another run. Oh, that was risky. That was risky. I mean, how about Drew Davis getting down and dirty? Did you see that? Oh, man, his total commitment out there. Let's take a look at the replay on that one. Man, oh, man. I, do you wear cups in cricket? We do when we're batting, not when we're fielding. But oh, you're look kidding at the commitment. Wait a second. I, I need some. What are you talking about? You take it out when you you put it in when you hit? When you when you bat and you put it in, you don't feel it. What about if you're a bowler? Oh, you why? This is going to shock you when you're running into ball, man. Who cares? <laughs> oh, I damn, do. can we get our priorities straight? <laughs> Come on, my man. <laughs> what are we talking about? Nine runs on the ball. ball. That ball hammered. Oh, it hits umpire Nate <laughs> and saves hook line sinkers three <laughs> runs because that would have hit the back wall. Yes, it would. It probably even up. Oh, things. look at Aaron Jones. He's staring down <laughs> Nate like, dude, you took away three runs from me. So last ball of the first over. Score is 10. I bet you Luke's going to hit a six here. I feel it. Oh, or the ceiling. Yeah. Oh, he's out. <laughs> The wicked dance, <laughs> the wicked dance, and that one counted because it was less than 40. Whoa! Everything that happened, he still restricted them to 10 runs and over. Max, jolly defensively, excellent play. Drew Davis is also picking you up back here. How are you guys going to close this out? I mean, we don't have Jay for the third over, which definitely hurts us. But BBD has been pitching great the entire tournament. We just got to play defense behind him. Nothing, no boundaries. That's what we did last over. We'll do it again this over. Perfect. Thanks, Charlie. Yeah, he's saying that they won't have Jay for the third over because he's not the golden bowler because he threw wide. So BBD is actually going to be the next bowler. And now after Luke got out, look who's at the plate. None other than Jake Storiali, a man who has taken personal redemption to a new level. He has called out the broadcast team several times in his post-game press conferences who have questioned perhaps his commitment to the team, enjoying the social life and the exploits of being one Jake Storiali and what that's all about. It's one thing to be the star of John Boy Media, of talking Yanks, to walk into bars, to be crowded and recognized by people. That's fine. But don't forget about the teammates that you'll leave behind. He's standing by with Kelsey. you have any final words to Chris Rose? I love Chris Rose. Um, he, uh, I, what did I tell him three, four games ago? We would see Pinstripe Strong in the championship game. I just have to do my job right now, and that's what I'm going to do. You're going to do it, Jake. Rosie, positive vibes between you two today. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, that's what happens when you sober up for work. So here we go. Story Ollie, ready to face his... Pocket Baseball producer, BBD. BBD acting like he's getting a sign from a catcher. That ball's hit, and it's a four-run boundary. Is that their first boundary ball? It is. And it's a misfield by Drew, a rare misfield by Drew. Yeah. yeah, Drew will be the first one to tell you. I should have kept that in front of me. Yes. That ball tipped. They're running. They're running. Just one run, and it'll put Aaron Jones back on strike. Good ball so far. Aaron. Yeah, Aaron has been really hit or miss yes. in this tournament. It took him a while to get adjusted to the non-cricket paddle. But then he got on fire for a little while. That ball tapped back to BBD, oh, and it's a great dot ball. Of bowling by BBD. So far, Aaron Jones before this game had 19 runs in total. Seven sixes. Can he make it an eighth one? That ball hit off the wall and it, oh, it's off of Jolly. And they will continue to run a couple of runs there for Team Baggage as Jolly just got his mid on it. Boy, that was another great attempt. Nearly held on to it. Four good balls by BBD. 
That ball hit backward and they're not gonna run. That's another dot ball. BBD has done an outstanding job in these first five pitches. Shoulder. Wait till it's like on your shoulder, then just explode. Like, like stay real still when it gets you, then explode. Because your hands are fast enough, you can wait it out the last second. One ball left from BBD. A good ball means he could bowl the golden over. And there it is. Another dot ball. Just seven runs from this over. Unreal. I mean, we thought 36 was a low number to put up in the top of the first inning. But this has been simply amazing, the job that hook line sinkers has done. And so now you have to imagine that BBD will stay as the golden goal. Top of the show, we said hook line, they were the most balanced team. Yes. But we talked about their hitting display. Here it's been all about their defense and their bowling. Yeah, look at Jess Curran talking to them, strategizing. 17 runs on the board. They chasing first inning. Target of 36. A chance for Jake Storiale to do something magical, and he hits one behind. It's just going to be a single run. This is amazing, the number of single runs and dot balls that we have seen. Huh, for both teams. Yeah. When Hookline batted, they couldn't get the boundaries going, and it's the same for Team Baggage. Five deliveries left. Can Aaron find some form? Can you find a boundary? Oh, that's a wide. That's a bad ball. Oh, and they're running, they're running too. So two runs, and it's a bad ball. By the way, how hard is it for these professional cricket players to adjust to this bat? It's, it's very hard. First of all, it's much lighter. Uh -huh. You know, the shape is different. Everything about it. Everything about it. That ball hit behind and just another run. Dude, this is crazy. Man. But at least that's what kind of makes this sport so, so interesting, exciting. right? Yes, it With is. baseball, you'd just be fouling balls mm -hmm. off. Nothing's happening here. A foul. There it isn't a foul ball. Yes. It's a ball in play. You get a run. Mm -hmm. Four more good pitches left in this over and inning. And there's another one of those, and they're not going to go anywhere. <laughs> Almost got run out to Aaron Jones. <laughs> Safe, safe. Look at Jimmy. At? He's just on the sideline side shaking his head. He's just thinking maybe just get it to the boundary. The two brothers, they're there wondering, are we going to lose? Oh, Jimmy wants that banner <laughs> so badly. At least a shot at it. Yeah. There's another ball, and oh! They're gonna keep, oh, look at that, I they're still running, out. and oh. I think that's out, it went through the magic hole. You think it went, oh. Yes, Kate. I think it went through the magic hole. It hit the net of the magic hole, so I think what Jazz Corinne's trying to figure out right now is if hitting the net counts as hitting the situation blue thing. Oh, yes, well explained. Uh, situation blue thing is, I think, what it's labeled in the book. Right? Not out, not out. Not out. So what do we find out? Look, look, what do we look. find out, Pax? Basically, Jazz Coran was thinking that since the net is a part of the wicket, yeah. that it should have been considered an out, but um, Nate claims, nope, no out, so. Okay. Darren, what's your opinion on that? Should the net of the magic hole count as part of the strike zone? Well, it depends. If it, I thought it went through the net. If it went through the net, it means it would have hit it. But if it just grazed it, it's not out. I'm agreeing with Nate there. Okay, so there you go. You're in agreement. So two good pitches left. Baggage facing a 13-run deficit. Boy, this has been a bizarre half inning. I gotta tell you, BBD has done a masterful job. That ball hit in the air, it falls. Oh, they're gonna keep running and that's, I think we have a run out. I think so. It looks like the ball beat Aaron Jones to the wicket. Let's see. Run one, they're coming back There's for one two. Run. And, oh wow, that is close. Oh my gosh. I can't tell from I here. I can't tell either. It looks like Jones's bat is a 
raising the line. What do yes. you think? I think he's in. Let me just get the official ruling from you. His back crossed the line before the ball hit the strike wow. zone. Wow, okay. So he's safe. Safe. Just like we fought up, uh, up here. Okay. So two runs. And now Jay is going to get pulled as the wicket keeper. They want a spare defender behind BBD. Do you like that I strategy? Like that. I like that. Uh, BBD could run, run after he pitches. If the ball goes behind the stumps, he yeah. could run up there. But he's trying to protect the boundary. Yeah, you're trying to minimize damage. Yes. How many boundary balls in this inning? Just one by Jake Storiali. That's it. Wow. That ball's hit and caught Fox. by Drew Davis. Wow, what a phenomenal bowling job by BBD. Did you ever think that after scoring 36 runs in the top of the frame, you'd have a double-digit lead heading into the second inning? I don't think so. For more, let's send it down to Paxton. Drew, you were all over the place. At one point, I looked back in the corner, and you were doing a back bend of some sort. Defensively, you made that final catch. How are you feeling after that? I'm feeling good. My inhaler is going to get me through the rest of this, and I put my trust in my inhaler. Okay, now BBD went out there and absolutely shoved. Absolutely shoved. How are you guys going to close this out? Ride BBD. You got to ride the big baby David. Um, he's just going to go out there and just do, does what he does. I love that. Get your inhaler. Thank you to AG1 for sponsoring this Warehouse Games video. They're a daily foundational nutritional supplement that aids your overall body health. They've got your daily dose of vitamin C, zinc, functional mushrooms, anything that can aid your overall body health. It's a scientific formulation made of vitamins, probiotics, and whole food source nutrients. And it tastes good too. I'm actually gonna make some right now if you guys don't mind. Right now, if you click the link in our description and head to drinkag1.com slash warehouse games, you can get a free one year supply of AG vitamin D3 plus K2 plus five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase of AG1. Bottoms up. So we head to the top of the second. An 11 run lead for hook line sinkers. Really amazing. They only put up 36 in their part of the first inning. But to hold a team to 25 runs, Darren Sammy, that's remarkable. And I just, maybe it's the pressure of the knockout, the semifinal, trying to get your team into the championship. But wow, it's been a, an amazing display of bowling from both teams. Jimmy O'Brien will be the bowler to start out with. BBD, the striker, and hook line sinkers on the DraftKings power play. No wicket keeper. Oh, that's a hammer shot and a six-run boundary. Guess who's been the MVP so far? That's BBD, if you know what I mean. That ball, another run! <laughs> Rosie, you should catch it! Yeah, I'm not much for mobility. Pretty so, much has to come right here. So we saw four boundaries in total. In the first in inning. The first innings. Now we've seen back-to-back -back sixes. Wow. That ball hit in the air and it's gonna fall. Oh! oh what a Luke O'Brien dashing out of nowhere. BBD, it looks like he's been run out. What an outstanding effort though. Dove head first, but how about the quick hop by Luke O'Brien? We gotta see that again. Man, that was awesome. I'm oh yeah, beat him by like 10 feet, that was remarkable. Oh, and the presence oh, of Oh, and you know mind. what that means? That's a wicked dance. Oh, we forgot that. We're on delay, <laughs> but it's a wicked dance. What do you got, Kels? We want to say hi to you. How are you, Jimmy? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who's on strike for them now, Jal? <laughs> yeah, new batter. Hey, get them out three times. What a strategy from Jake Storiali there. They want to get him out three times. Well, they've already done one. Wow. So they're a third of the way there. That is an overachiever right there. He's going for an extra out. Oh, he's always been an overachiever, that guy. <laughs> Josh Karan Malhotra, you will see him at the LA Knight Riders later this summer. Major League Cricket. Three more good balls left in this over. That ball hit. Oh, Jake couldn't stop it. Oh, no. Big swing and a miss, and so it's a four-run boundary. And the first boundary for Jaskaran 
in this game. That ball hammered. Whoa, nothing Jake can do about that one. There's another four. Okay, he's getting into rhythm now. Jay. So we've seen as many boundary balls in this first over of the second inning as we saw both teams combined for in the first inning. That's wide. a swing and a miss, but it's a wide. Oh, Jimmy gives it an effort. So it's a wide plus one. So they get one for the wide and then one for the run. And most importantly, it's a bad ball for Jimmy. He can't be a golden bowler. So he he definitely, his job for, the, for this match will be over after this pitch in terms of bowling. Jolly Olive, outstanding in his frame. That ball's hammered in. Four run. Woo, an expensive over from Jimmy. So now his younger brother, Luke O'Brien, will become the bowler. Aaron Jones will move to the wicket keeper. So the DraftKings power play is over. That over went for 26 runs. It's a 37 run lead for hook line sinkers. That ball tapped, and that's a dot ball. That's a dot ball. Good start for Luke O'Brien. Yeah, he needs it after that expensive over from his uh, brother, Jimmy. That ball popped in the air. And it's a, it's a wicked dance. The wicked dance. Dance, dance. The wicked dance. They're two-thirds of the way there. But Jake Storiali talked about it. Wow. They needed that. After that 26 run over, Luke comes on to the mound. A couple of tough pitches, you know. We, we do some poor base running on the first one. Luke makes some great plays. We got to play smart and seal our pitches. That's been our philosophy the whole tournament. I love the jolly. Just made sure to give me a sound bite. I love that. We're having a bit of an equipment switch down here. Drew Davis was adamant on having Lou's bat. He thought he had Lou's bat. He didn't. He threw it, and he got it. Lots of people wanting that bat. Interesting, because Lou, of course, Lou Dab and Pinstripe Strong await the winner of this one in the championship game. That ball popped up. Oh! Oh! oh, oh Jesus! Oh, my God. All right, timeout. <laughs> Is he okay? Oh, my God. Somebody check Storiali. His head just banged against the cement. That ball was in the hands. We got to, all right, we have to take another look at that one. I think it touched all the fielders' hands and still went for four. Oh. Obviously, we could excuse Jimmy because oh. he can't see properly. Oh, geez. So it bounces and hits the back wall for four. Is he okay, Kels? Yeah, he said he was good. Okay. He Here's the problem. Hit. I don't know what the concussion baseline test is for a guy like Storiali. I don't know if he hit his head too hard because he seemed a little confused why I asked with Got the concern. It. Okay. So here we go. Three more good pitches left in this over. That could have done it for the wickets right yes, there. That oh, would have been critical. Ball hit. Nice play. And just one run allowed. That's good defense. Score moves on to 67. Yeah. Jolly oh. Allen with a hammer shot. <laughs> a full six pack on that one. One more pitch left in this over. And the lead has been increased to 48 runs. That ball smash, another four-run boundary ball. That'll do it for that over. Jolly Olive doing his thing, and now the lead is up to 52. With still six good balls left. They could bat them out of this tournament. Luke is the golden bowler. No bad balls that last over, so that means that he can continue bowling. Drew Davis. Smashes it again, it's another four. 
That lead keeps climbing, makes the deficit more critical for Team Baggage. They will have to bat out of their skin to win this one. Well, that doesn't sound fun. That ball tapped. Luke does a nice job. That's a dot ball. No damage. No damage done here. Just remember, one more wicket closes off this inning. Oh, there's a dot ball. Nice work. Back-to-back -back dot balls for O'Brien. That ball smashed. Four-run boundary. The lead is up to 60. And I know you're probably thinking, how in the heck is Team Baggage going to come from behind? But they could we, do it. We've seen monumental comebacks before. We had seen it. They had a 50-run comeback in their first win of the year during pool play. Oh, there's a little bunt and caught, and that'll do it. That is the last wicket. What was that? Nobody's I, excited <laughs> except for me. I don't understand what he was doing. I don't know either. Two balls left. Just swing at it. Yeah, just swing hard. Aaron, Jake just said it. You guys are facing a 61-point deficit, but you put up 61 yesterday in an inning. How confident are you guys, even though it's a big hill to climb with this offense, that you guys can do it? Yeah, I mean, you said it's a big hill to climb, but for me, I think we've been doing it all season, so this is just normal for us right now. You're known to be a reliable, steady hitter. Is this where you thrive, these type of environments? Um, yes, generally, I like a little pressure. That brings out the best in me, so hopefully I bring it home today. I think you will. I think you will. Thank you for your time. Hey there, as you guys warm up, I want to let you know, Floorball is coming back. Another franchise series in the warehouse. Team Baggage looking for redemption. Lost by one goal in the championship. Still pained by that to this day. It will be coming out October 8th. So be ready. Be prepared. Go Team Baggage. Team Baggage is chasing 61 runs. That's all that separates them and a berth in the championship game against Pinstripe Strong. But as Kelsey mentioned with Aaron Jones, they have scored 61 runs before. They have. It can happen. It can. Well, it'll be up to the O'Brien brothers. Jimmy will be the first one to strike. His batting partner will be his younger brother, Lucas, who we have seen get smoking hot before. So if they can get him up into the strike zone, if you will, maybe things can go well for Team Baggage. It's going to be very interesting. Jaskaran Malhotra looks like he'll be the first bowler for hook line sinkers. And this is the first time we've had a chance to see Jimmy as a striker since his eye injury. Well, if he, got to, if he wants a chance to put up his name on that banner, you got to get 61. That ball hit behind. Okay, uh, it's just one run, but the important thing here, Luke is now the striker, but he has got to go on some kind of roll. We're talking about spinning fours and sixes. Rosie, is this who you see as the biggest offensive threat on baggage? Oh, yeah. Really? To me, it's no brainer. Wow, a four-run boundary ball. It looked like maybe the defense had a chance to prevent that from the uh, back wall before the ricochet off the ceiling. That's always a tough play. Luke, yeah, I, I think this Luke guy needs goes, a lot more of this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ball hit in the air. Oh, Drew Davis oh, just misses. It. How costly will that be? Well, I got to tell you, man, it's not that, to me, that's not that big a deal. Why? Because it gets Luke off strike. It would be better if he, he got him back in the well, shade. Of course, of course. But that's still a tough play. He's kind of fumbling around. No, I'm just going from Drew's standards, the standard he set right. throughout the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't need to quote the boss on that one. I think he pretty much said it himself. Yeah, I think you could. You, you can't be too hard on him. Okay, so two more good pitches in this over. They need two bunches. They need two big ones. Yeah, they need at least ten runs right here. At least ten. That ball's hammered. Great play by Drew Davis. Instead, it's just a dot ball. I mean, that, that's why I I, pre, I, yeah. I was hard on him to play before. You're right. He set a very high standard in the field. Certainly has. That ball shot. 
And a four run boundary. So they only knock off 11 runs, I believe, in that frame. And Darren, you're talking about the defense from Drew Davis, who played on Major League Wiffle Ball. He was in that league. He's known as a defender. He said that he was the second highest earner in the league last year because of his jersey sales, because of his defense. Oh, that man. fans really, really like him because of that. I could see why. All right, Josh Caron is now the wicket keeper after the DraftKings power play has elapsed. BBD, outstanding bowling in the first inning, is back. Oh! And maybe that's what the boss man needed to see. He heard Jersey sales and he was right on cue. That away, let's see if that unlocks the O'Brien brothers. He needs a few more of these, Rose. A lot more. That ball hammered and there's another four. Oh, okay. It's not done. Not yet. 40 runs needed of 10 good deliveries. So by my math, they need four per good pitch. Yes. Thank you very much. I was in the accelerated class. That ball smashed, but Drew Davis had hold him to one run. Oh boy, now we need some sixes here. He Nine needs, good pitches left. He need at least 12 from these three balls. Oh, he needs more than that. Come on. That ball popped up and it's oh. a wicket. Oh, Luke. Oh, the wicket then, wicket then. All right. Nice Man. play there. Nice play. Yeah, Jay, I see you <laughs> I doing see the wicket you. dance. Yeah, you're finally in. Yeah, Whoa. all the cool kids are doing it. He's been doing the wicket dance. Yeah. <laughs> the whole tournament. So Luke is out, Aaron Jones is in, chasing 39 runs. Eight good pitches left in the tournament, perhaps for team baggage. Oh, that ball oh, that's six. Was that a six or yes, a four? It, it, hit, it hit on top of that thing here. No, it's, oh, everybody's saying four. It hit it? and went down. Remember the rule yesterday, if it hits the gray line, goes up, it's a six. Hits the gray line, goes down, it's oh. a four. I, I need to see that replay. Let's take a look at this one. And the smash and, yeah, well, it goes down. It hits the gray and it goes down. If it hits the gray, it's a four. Confirmed four. Good swing by Aaron Jones. It's, an, it's almost the same exact spot. It's another four. Oh my gosh. Well, they either need some bad balls or six sixes. Can it be done? We saw five sixes in a row. Yeah, this is our situation. It's more pressure on the bowling team than batting team. Like, we know we only got one thing to do. We got to go hard. They have to bowl good. They can't bowl wide. They can't misfield all that sort of things. Yeah, so more pressure on them than us. Let's go. You just got to swing at everything. If it's wide and you miss, you could run as well, but you cannot not swing. If it's definitely a wide, let it go run, but you need to make contact. No wicket keeper. Oh, there's a bad ball, and there's two runs for free. Now exactly what I was talking about. But that's huge. That is huge. It does get Aaron back as the striker. Uh, but man, if they get one or two more of those, and you do start doing the math with the six run boundary ball. You need a six right now yeah, to put some it. pressure on Josh Caron. That ball's hit in the air. Oh, no. That's just one run. Oh, that's a crusher. That is a crusher. So five good balls left. Jimmy, no pressure, but you gotta get a six here. <laughs> oh! said you have to swing at it. Oh, look at Jay, he knows it. He knows as long as he just throws good pitches the rest of the way, they're off to the title game after that dot ball. That ball popped in the air, Josh Karan squeezes it. Would he like to do the wicked dance? The wicked dance, Jay, you can do the wicked dance. Yeah, there you go, Jay. There you go, Jay. <laughs> He can smell it. It's all over. So now Jake Storiali, this is almost like batting practice for him. 
The O'Brien brothers dejected on the bench. There's a shot and a four-run boundary. We'll see how close they can get. Ah, oh, it's over. Well, it's stop. over, Ruth. They, they already feel like shit. You don't need to make them feel worse. I, Jimmy won't get his banner up. Not this season. There you go, Jake. That's nice. That's a six run. One good pitch left. That's all that separates hook line sinkers from a date with pinstripe strong in the title game. Last ball. Oh, look, now look at this. They're gonna run. There's two, keep running. Is that a That's bad ball? That's three, that's a bad ball. That's a three, just a bad ball. Boy, if they, uh, if they get a few more of those, get it down to six, then who knows? <laughs> Oh, look at this. That's a bad ball. That's, is he doing this intentionally to make uh, it interesting? Uh, What's going on here? I don't know. He's really just trying to throw it in the strike zone. Now, this is but weird. But you should never take this game for granted. And now Drew Davis has been stationed as the wicket keeper. That's probably a good play. That ball smashed by Aaron Jones. That is going to do it. Hook line sinkers is we a winner. We have our two finalists. We will see the green machine in the championship game against Pinstripe Strong. Oh my goodness! None other than Shelby. is back! He has returned triumphantly. <laughs> Ankle wraps, donning crutches. We will see him. Shelby, Shelby, Shelby. <laughs> What a sight, Rose. This is like Willis Reed without him actually <laughs> playing. We can't wait to see what happens in the title game between Pinstripe Strong, Hook Line Sinkers.